There's Alex Leclerc. It's a yes or no answer. Can he do it? Can he stay in competition? Move on into tomorrow, into the finals, to the final event of the year? Or is this the last run of the year for him? A lot of pressure on these drivers with incompletes. Looks like he's going the conservative route, the smart route. Don't get overly dramatic, don't get overly dynamic. Make it through the run. Stay in drift, don't go off course, no big mistakes. And it looks like after what was a little bit of a close call there from outside zone two to inside clip one in the reduction of angle and a little bit of a wonky line, he kept it together, got a score. It's not gonna be the greatest, let's take a look at it again, Ryan. Yeah, like you said, it was a fairly conservative run. The initiation was very safe off of inside clip one into outside zone uh, number one. Outside zone two missed it pretty much entirely with a lack of angle. Same thing for inside clip one. You can see a lack of angle there, some bobbles. So it is a score. You can hear some clutch kicking near the end. Sounds like a lot of grip in that car as well. Um, not the prettiest, but it'll be a score on the board. Well, you can see the zones definitely getting marked up there. We started off the morning, and the, and the track has been gracious enough to allow us to use uh, a paint to paint the zones. And uh, you can see some of the inside clip on, inside clip one and two are still kind of there. The outside zone's a little bit faded away, but uh, we will have all these freshly painted for the pro drivers as they, they will go begin their practice session at 1.30, and then the remainder of the afternoon will be for qualifying for the pro guys. That'll put both brackets to be known by the end of day today, meaning the, the remainder of the weekend, as we see Alex Eklider getting a 60, getting our third position there, which is 26th, I believe, or 27th. 